In this section, I'll show you how to find inverse functions. So maybe it gives you an equation, y equals negative 4x plus 6, and it says find the inverse. What you're going to do is flip around y and x. So you're going to write x equals negative 4y plus 6. And then you're going to solve for y, because the equation of a line is always solved for y. So subtract the 6, x minus 6 equals negative 4y. And divide by that negative 4. Divide both by negative 4. We have y equals um, negative 1 fourth x plus 3 halves. And if you want to be correct, you could write this over here and write y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 3 halves. That's the inverse, and the way we write that is y to the first power, and we call that y prime. That's how we show it's the inverse. So this is y, and this is y prime, or the inverse. The next type of problem says verify that f and g are inverse functions. So it gives you two equations, f of x and g of x, and it wants you to know um, if they are the inverse of each other. So we learned how to check the inverse, so let's just use f of x. We'll say this is y equals 2x minus 4, and I can say it's y because f of x and y are pretty much the same thing. So we'll find the inverse of this one. We'll switch the x and y. x equals 2y minus 4. The 4, x plus 4 equals 2y. Divide by 2, both of them. We have 1 half x plus 2 equals y. Is this the inverse of this? If they're equal, then they are. So y equals 1 half x plus 2. g of x or y equals 1 half x plus 2. So we say yes. They are inverses. They are inverse functions of each other. The last thing you need to know is it will ask you questions like, is the inverse also a function? And you need to know if both the normal function and the inverse are functions, we call this a one-to-one -one function. That is, if both the normal is a function and the inverse is a function. Now, you already know how to check if it's a function using the vertical line test. If you have this and you draw a vertical line through it, if it only touches once, that's a function. But to check if the inverse is a function, use the opposite. Use the horrible, horrible line test, the horizontal line test. I'm just going to call this the horrible line test from now on. The horrible line test to check if the inverse is a function. So in this one, you can check with the line test, the horizontal line test, the inverse is a function because it only touches once no matter where you draw it. Here the inverse is not a function because it touches twice, here and here. So if it passes both the vertical line test and the horizontal line test, it is a one-to-one -one function.